So you think crypto gaming's dead? Let me show you why it's definitely not and we're gonna check out a really cool project. Are you ready? Let's get in. What's up guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to Yes Crypto. I hope all of you are doing well out there. Today we are gonna be looking at a project called Nakamoto Games, right there. And if you haven't heard of it, you're about to hear about it and hopefully you'll be so very surprised. Let's check it out. Here we are, this is Nakamoto Games and it's currently ranked 658 um, and when did it come out? So let's have a little look at that. So it came out around about October of 2021, right? So near the end of the bull market, okay? And obviously since then we did have quite a good little run up on it and then yeah, we haven't seen it recover yet. But obviously we are in a bear market since then so it has to have an opportunity to potentially go up which is pretty good. Okay, we could capitalize on this. And then the market cap, um, obviously going up. Um, and so it means the supply is being pushed out on it as well. So that's the reason that chart looks different from the price. To look at it, so it currently has a market cap of 17 million. So that's pretty good to know. So it's not an absolute massive coin. It is uh, still quite low. It has a circulating supply of 72 million and the max supply is 180 million. So, you know, we're hot, well, under half, right? So we still got few to come on there and currently a price at 23 cents okay or pennies so let's actually check this project out real quick let's do it here we are this is nakamoto games and here you go you've got a couple different games you can see so naka strike um you've got like a tank game you've got marketplace right here um so you've got naka swap staking referral program as well um, free to earn and free to play so this is all it's about so free to earn and free to play and you've got story mode games um, and then yeah you've got some different categories of games yep shooting games nft games fighting games so as you can see you've got quite a lot of games on here right let's say we want to go on this game so you can see who's actually joined the game and there's how many players are in it so you can join different rooms um, and then yeah you can see the top and top players as well um, but yeah, one thing I would like to see is probably screenshots of the game because I think that would be really good to see before any before you go into any game, right? You want to kind of know exactly what it is, and obviously seeing as crypto and game, gaming money involved, right? Then you probably want to see that, right? So that's what I would say from a UX design point of view. So what is Nakamoto Games all about, right? So we've got play games, join a revolution, and then step one, you choose a game, and then step two, you play, and then you earn, right? So it's play to earn. Um, and here you go. So the problem statement is this. So over 65% of the world uh, has an internet connection. 43% of the Americans can't meet monthly living expenses. So play to earn gives anyone an internet connection, the opportunity to earn cryptocurrency and generate sustainable source of income. So you've got for the players. So obviously you can win money and get money or crypto uh, from playing, right? Um, and then you can be a developer, so you can actually develop your games. So how does this work? So developers can launch their own play to earn games. Um, games use a base similar to how mobile app developers deploy their application to Google Play and to the App Store, right? Naka Token, let's find out a bit more about that, right? So what does it do? So obviously you play with it, and you can use it to play, you can use it to, and you also can earn with it, and it is used for governance. So what's governance voting on proposals such as burning of NACA tokens and the structure of weekly prize pools so that's pretty cool so it might look to burn some NACA tokens so that is good to know right NACA tokens will have a deflationary system with part of each weekly prize pool being burned so oh that's great so they actually burn tokens on the prize pools so that's pretty cool create supply and demand for the token so you can see that might be a catalyst going forward Looking at the roadmap, so obviously this started back then um, and obviously now we've kind of got to the point where we've done the roadmap, right? So more it'll be like, what's next for them? Um, and that's what we would like to find out, right? What is next? So just having a little look through their team, we've got the chief executive officer, it's obviously CEO, okay? And he's obviously doing this full time, which is great to see. Um, and then, yeah, he's done some other different things. So he used to be a developer, which is really good to see. Obviously, you want people who know how to develop. Um, and yeah, so he's got a quite good background and we know he's doing this full time, which is great to see. Next, we have the Chief Operating Officer, so he's COO. And yeah, we're looking at him. So he's full time on this as well. Um, and then not sure what some of these things are, but yeah, he's been a project manager before. 
So yeah, so operations, you gotta be a project manager to do that, right? So that's a good sign as well. And then yeah, there's the chief marketing officer. So one of the reasons I'm looking at this, we wanna see if we can get some things to pump, right? So, um, so she is obviously currently at uh, Nakamoto Games, but also she seems to be doing something else. So uh, she is deputy manager director of another website design company. Um, so yeah, so she's obviously doing that. She's been doing this and, and so she's like a freelancer, it seems, right? So she's doing two different things. Um, and yeah, she's obviously done some communication managers that work before, senior account manager. Yeah, so obviously she's busy, she's doing two different things, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's, um, yeah, but it seems quite relevant. So this actual company she's doing, so she's providing, doing ICO launches and light papers. So yeah, so she's definitely doing something in the crypto industry, which is good to see. So that's the team kind of covered a little bit, um, but here you go, the partners, right? This is what's really interesting. So you've got Polygon as a main partner, you've got all these different partners, like, you know, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you have a lot. And um, yeah, quite a lot indeed. You've got the moon on here, so he's behind this as well, or invested into it. Um, and yeah, a whole bunch, you can check them out. And yeah, good sign though, right? A lot of people behind it. And then we've got an award here, so awarded by Polygon. So what is this? So Polygon acknowledges the rewards exceptional play to earn ecosystem of Nakamoto Games. So Polygon is giving them an award. So that is a good sign indeed as well. <laughs> Nakamoto Games is delighted to announce that it's received a technical grant to show and support leading blockchain infrastructure provided by Polygon. So yeah, got a grant from it as well. That's really good news. See, I've, got, I've gone through the uh, white paper as well. So I'm just gonna highlight some of the main things to point out on this, it's pretty interesting. The top three online games, which is Player Unknown, Battleground, PUBG, Counter Strike, and Dota 2, have a combined 100 million monthly active users. Counter Strike alone has 700k active players at a time of writing, uh, with over 370 million hours spent on the games in the past 30 days. And here is some obviously some stats behind this, right? You can see um, that you've provided. And then online gaming has also provided into extremely lucrative industry with users spending decabillions, not sure that is, on in-game experiences and assets. In 2020, gamers spent over 54 billion purchases in-game items. This is anticipated to grow on over 74 billion by 2025. So, you know, we've got a target 2025 and obviously they can capitalize on that, right? There's some stats as well that they've pulled. So as it stands, the most widely adopted blockchain games are Sandbox Evolution and Axie Infinity, cool, which have both reported at least 1 million active players in certain instances. Other games such as Alien Worlds have secured base in hundreds of thousands. These games highlight the blockchain based games can attract users based that compete for those in the mainstream. So that's really good, right? General interest in blockchain based games has also been rising over the past 12 months search. So obviously this is old data, so or 2021, but you can see where the trend was obviously our friend, okay? But um, but yeah, I wouldn't say that, obviously this is like kind of died off right now, but that's hence why the prices are low. So, but we want, you know, to get in low, so that's fine, right? I found out the tokenomics around here, so there's another paper for it, so tokenomics paper, and here you go. So you've got 180 million supply, and then this is where it all was gone. So you've got angel round, seed round, private round, um, and obviously 55 million of that is already got taken up by that, right? And then you have the play to earn vault, so 40 million of that is basically play to earn fund and play to earn rewards. And game development fund is 10 million. And then you've got sponsorships, 15 million. And then developer sponsorships, sponsoring, so 10 million of that as well. And then here you go, the proper breakdown, so operational reserves, 20 million, team and advisor, 25 million and salaries at 5 million, okay? Yeah, after looking at this, obviously it's uh, not that bad, but I mean, yeah, it could be better in terms of being more decentralized, but uh, but yeah, something to note. So obviously around about 50 million goes to the game developers and the play to earn um, rewards. A bit more actually goes to the team rather than the actual like community. Um, but yeah, still not that bad. Uh, obviously the project's pretty good. So it's just something to note down, right? So also we wanna know what's happening in the future so here is another document i found so in q3 2022 what are they planning to do so they've got a host of new games features and partnerships so let's have a little look at that so we've got official discord channel launch so they're launching that we've got a native dex that's about to come out uh, naka list of kanga exchange so they're going to be on kanga exchange um they've got new releases and improved qu game quality so obviously improving that they've got the first 3d game which is about to shoot a game 
which uh, is going to come out. So they're actually going to make their own metaverse as well. So it's called the Nakaverse. So that's pretty interesting indeed. So yeah, it's something to watch out for this as well. They're going to be entering the world of NFTs as well. So they've got a lot, quite a lot planned for this, right? Quite a lot. So next up, we are looking at the socials, right? We're looking at social media. We're on the Twitter and we've got 162,000 followers. So pretty good. And are we getting interaction? Yes, we are. We're getting a lot of interactions. We've got 23 comments on this one. Uh, a lot of views, like 3,000 views and 82 likes. So that was only posted one hour ago. And obviously we can keep going and see what other activity they're doing. And yeah, they're putting out lots of different tweets, new development all the time. So it was a good sign and yeah. So quite a good little project, don't you think? I mean, yeah, they definitely seem like they've grown doing a lot of development. So, you know, you can't complain with that. I mean, there's a couple of things like, for example, the tokenomics, which I think could be a little bit better. But yeah, team seem like pretty legit. They're doing things full time. And yeah, they've got a lot of games. It looks very interesting to me. So yeah, I wouldn't write this project off at all. Definitely keep it on your list. Um, and that's the way I um, look at it. Obviously, we want to benchmark this against some of its competitors, right? Like, what type of price could we get if it hit, for example, the likes of Axie Infinity or Gala Game? So, let's check that out and see how much this coin could make us. Let's check it out. So, here we are. So, 17 million Nakamoto Games uh, is the market cap right now. And obviously, we they compared themselves to Axie Infinity. So, let's check that out. Axie Infinity is currently at 806 million market cap. So we need to get to that um, and that's where we currently are so let's do a little calculation real quick we're going to have 17 million right and then we're going to time that by we're going to do 47 okay and that gives us 800 well towards 800 so 799 million right um, and that is look 806 so we're going to go for 47x right if it was to reach that market cap but obviously that's at this current moment right we're in a bear market right now right so you know it reaching that is probably pretty achievable in in the bull market of and let's say the next towards 2024 2025 right that's the price target um and then but what if we got to a price target uh, of 9.7 billion because that's actually what Axie infinity went to right so if we wanted to compare it to that obviously very optimistic but let's see what we can do Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 17 times by 550, right? And that gives us 9,350. But if you look here, so this is 9,780. So obviously a lot, actually quite a bit more. But I would say, yeah, 550x, okay, is in the potential cards if Nakamoto Games can reach the market cap of Axie Infinity in a bull run, okay? So what do you guys think? 550x, do you think that we can get there? Or is it just gonna be around the 50x mark, right? Big differences, but you know, if this one picks up and goes really well, then you know, it's looking good. We've got a lot of partners in behind it, as you saw, a lot of games on there. They've got plans for the future. Uh, and yeah, I think this one, could do pretty good in the next bull run so definitely keep it in your watch list if you want to buy this coin you can buy it on kucoin so i have a link in the description for that so check that out and you can buy it and it helps the channel out if you buy it through my link so yeah feel free to do that i review a whole bunch of different altcoins and we're just trying to find the best altcoins for the next bull run i believe that the bull run in the top of the bull run in terms of price going absolutely crazy is going to happen in 2025. I am making it my mission to accumulate as much as I can of different projects. I don't buy every single project I review. This is just me reviewing them. And obviously I make my own decisions the same way you should make your own decisions, right? So just bear that in mind. If you like me reviewing these coins for you, then press subscribe and you can be around for the journey. Um, my plan is to get us all to go to the moon together. That's the plan. Let's hope we can do it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Would love to know your opinion and give this video a like if you liked it. If you wanna find out about really good projects and you don't wanna search around for them, then I can point you in the right direction, right there. Also right here this other one also really good but if i don't see you i'll see you at the top bam <laughs>